Hi, I'm Tim Daniels from lapsoftheshutter.com and in this tutorial we are going to take a look at how to add fireworks to a photo to turn it from this to this. The only requirement is that you have a photo with plenty of sky and some separate photos of fireworks. If you want a couple of free firework photos you can download them from lapsoftheshutter.com. So let's start from the beginning with a photo of a sunset in Pisa. We can drag these firework photos into our workspace and resize and move them to where we want. The absolute easiest way to blend fireworks is to use blending modes. Try a few from the lighten subsection and see if the blend looks good. In this case, screen works well, although the trail from the rocket is still a little strong. We can add a layer mask and paint it out with a small soft brush set to 30% opacity. The overall effect is still a little weak, so let's duplicate the layer in its mask. It's as easy as that to add a firework to the sky. If you have water in the foreground, it's a little more work to add a reflection. When you are adding reflections to the water, you have to try to match the perspective of the reflection and the blur and texture caused by the water. So let's duplicate the layer again and flip it vertically. We can then move it down to the water beneath the firework in the sky and resize it slightly so its perspective matches that of the reflections of the building. We can go through the blending modes again to find one that fits. In this case, color dodge works well, but the bright parts of the firework are too bright and really seem to catch the eye too much. You can use a luminosity mask to select these brightest parts and selectively mask them out. Simply switch off all other layers Change the channels tab and hold down control and click on the RGB thumbnail. This creates your luminosity mask. Use a large soft brush at 30% opacity and paint out the brightest parts of the firework and then reduce the opacity of the layer as a whole down to about 60% to help the blend. The final part is to add some Gaussian blur. Zoom in so that you can compare the amounts of blur to the reflections already present in the water and change the amount of blur until they match. That's one firework and its reflection. Repeat this process to add more fireworks. I'm going to speed up the video while I add two more, but the process is identical to the first. If you want to add fireworks behind objects in your photo, such as buildings, try using the magic wand or quick selection tool to select the area of sky where you want the firework to appear, and click on add a layer mask to automatically filter that area. You can use a brush to tidy it up, and you can add the reflection using the same process. So here's the before and the after. We can then finish the photo by adding some contrast, highlights glow and shadow sharpening from the free Photoshop Color Control Action Pack that you can download from lapsoftheshutter.com. There's more tutorials including the totally free Landscapes Masterclass at lapsoftheshutter.com.